MB1, LaMelo Ball, with the one of one, you already know. He has officially changed his number to number one. You know, it was a lot of craziness surrounding that. We're going to get all into it. But LaMelo Ball will be unleashed, make no mistake about it. You know, he put up 20 points per game, put up seven rebounds. Pardon me, seven assists and six rebounds, shooting about 42% from the field. LaMelo Ball is about to take his game to another level, y'all. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, buckle up because it's about to go down. Listen, we all know the situation with LaMelo. He wanted the number one. We all That, that number is just synonymous with him. You know, uh, just, I guess, going to number two. We uh, He paid the utmost homage to his older brother, Lonzo Ball, you know, because he stated he, he picked number two because Lonzo had got hurt his rookie year. He almost was like paying homage, you know, to Lonzo. You know, and just like rewriting if he was healthy in so many words. It was definitely a nice moment and a nice thing that was done, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, coming to the Charlotte Hornets, you had the number one already preoccupied with um, Malik Monk. You know, uh, Malik Monk's situation, that's all but over with. You know, uh, he still wasn't able to get the number one last year. I don't know if he missed the time frame. You know, um, it was all kind of things circulating about Muggsy Bowes. You know, people thought, was Muggsy going to, uh, were they going to retire Muggsy's number? Uh, all of that was in the in the framework. You know, people thought that, you know, especially with the huge documentary that came out, I believe, a year ago. They had a major documentary on NBA TV surrounding Muggsy. We just thought everything was in line for that number one. You know, but nonetheless, LaMelo Ball was not denied. I think even if it was a case where Muggsy did get the number retired, I think LaMelo would have definitely had that number. You know, so you, oftentimes you do see that where, you know, it's an honorary situation. LaMelo was that kind of play that things like this is done for. You know, where a guy whose number is hanging in the rafters, but the guy, the guy whose number that's hanging in the rafters is telling you, no, please wear my number, please. You know, so it, it was going to be honor, honorable anyway. You know, this number one for Charlotte would be even more prestigious. I think even LaMelo may say, like he stated, like he hasn't really been himself and things of that nature. Like I said, I think the MB1 is about to be unleashed. You know, he's the one of one. You know, they don't, you don't know, you'll never hear the MB2 or, or the, you understand, the two or two. You know, this is, you know, the one of one, you know. So it's finally good to get it right. You know, he got his work cut out for him with the Charlotte Hornets. I think this activates his game to new heights. You know, I think, you know, with the Hornets not really getting much back in free agency, I think a new and improved working LaMelo ball, you know, I think is all the difference. I think that could go as much as an acquisition because I think LaMelo ball is going to be an improved play. He's improved every single year over the past two seasons we've seen him despite him being um, hurt the first year, you know, missing a little bit of time, you know, he still showed significant progress and still winning rookie of the year. I mean, this has been spectacular. This has truly been the one of one, you know, uh, so it's just only right, you know, for this situation to happen. It sucks that it took this long. It would have been good. I don't know how the Hornets didn't go to Malik Monk and get that number switched out. You know, you trade Malik Monk, you know, that didn't make no sense. If he ain't trying to give up the number, you move him. I don't think the Michael Jordan and the staff, they probably thought that was much of a major issue. But, I mean, to me personally, I think it was. I think you got to give LaMelo Ball that number off rip, you know. But it, it, whatever it is, the third year he gets the number, you know, so let's see what he does with it. You know, um, this is long overdue. The Charlotte Hornets will be a threat just because you have the one of one. Definitely now with an added motivation, you know, to to wreak havoc on the NBA, you know, um, and I think he will. A lot of people are counting the Charlotte Hornets out. Uh, people are looking at the Hornets like they haven't done much of anything, you know, so people are saying this team is better, that team is better, there's acquisitions being made, you know, um, everybody's writing the Hornets off, you know, but I think LaMelo's hearing that. You know, he's in the gym working every day. He's grinding. You know, the team is grinding. And, you know, they got some pieces on this roster, you know, along with himself, you know, where they can be still competitive out here. You know, um, he ain't just going to walk over the Charlotte Hornets. And I think LaMelo Ball is going to be the guy that let you guys that all know that. You know, the Hornets are going to be a tough out. You know, make no mistake about the situation.
y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this man this is this is truly history man he finally gets his number man this is this is great for the nba you know hopefully this is this makes major headlines and news reports and everybody talk about this because we need to get the Hornets back in that situation, back to greatness. It, it, the Hornets have been good, you know, over the past few seasons, but it's time for the Hornets to really take their game to new heights. I think LaMelo Ball, if he comes out this season and puts himself in an MVP discussion, because especially if you see no added uh, requisite weapons, they're going at it pretty much with the same team, you know, uh, maybe even losing some pieces. You know, but I but I think Lamelo Ball put himself in the MVP discussion. I think that that kind of gets free agents in the uproar. And don't be surprised if Charlotte and it is the Queen City, yes, becomes a free agent destination with a guy like Lamelo. You know, it's not Dallas. You know, uh, Charlotte is Charlotte is is kind of crazy. It's like you got Luke in Dallas. He's not really attracting free agents. But you got Mello in Charlotte. Charlotte is, you know, that's a that's a nice city. You know, it's can, it's not far from Atlanta. You you basically right there. You ain't too far away from the east, the upper East Coast. You got New York right there. That's nothing but a few hours or nothing but a short flight. You know, you in a decent spot. Charlotte is a good city. You know, and I think Lamelo Ball and his talent, especially up in his level this season, this coming season that we all are predicting, especially with this number change. I think we're going to see free agents flocking to Charlotte, North Carolina, like they've never done before, you know, because when you got such a unique guy like LaMelo, the one of one, MB one, you know, the sky's the limit, man. You know, the Hornets are going to be a threat, you know, and I'm, I'm not counting the Hornets out despite them, you know, failing, you know, having some problems. They're still going to be competitive in the Eastern Conference because you got Steve Clifford is in the building. He, he, he claims he's a defensive-minded coach. You know, he's trying to do uh, continue what they're, they're already doing offensively, but further the cause defensively without slacking on either end. So with that mindset, with LaMelo's mindset, I don't see why this thing, this thing is not a match made in heaven. You know, uh, despite them not acquiring the assets right now. Remember, LaMelo is still a young player. I know there's not much time left with his a contract coming up. You got Steve Clifford there, year one. You know, this is going to be his first training camp with this crew. You know, so let's see what, what they could do, you know, out the gate. And then after this, don't be surprised if free agents and they add supplementary pieces, whether it's through free agency, through trade, because they still have assets that they can move to improve this roster. So don't count Charlotte out yet. You know, they still got options. This Flight Sports TV, I'm going to leave it at that. This is truly history in the making. LaMelo Ball has changed his number to number one, finally. No more number two, you know. And you know he was upset towards the end of the season. He voiced his frustration. So I'm going to leave it at that. It's Flight Sports.